friends today topic for the discussion is calibrator standard and control in clinical lab setup along with service quality result matters a lot for this calibrator standard and control plays pivotal role before that first let's know what is matrix because it has relation with calibrator and control actually matrix is background material of sample sample can be plasma urine csf and other body fluid matrix is background material of sample other than test to perform different sample such as plasma urine and csf have different matrix let's become clear by an example here sample is urine and if we are going to test glucose so other than glucose all other component present in urine is matrix similarly if sample is csf and test is glucose all component present in csf is matrix except glucose in the same way if sample is plasma and test is glucose all component of plasma except glucose is matrix so overall we can say that except test analyte remaining component of sample is matrix now why matrix is important if we need to test the analyte on plasma urine csf and other body fluid the calibrator and control should have matrix like sample for minimal background interference from test method and machine calibrator before going into this you should know that calibration can be performed for equipment and test method both i repeat that calibration can be performed for equipment and test method both okay coming to the definition calibrator are the solution of known concentration or fixed concentration prepared in matrix same as sample that means if sample is plasma then matrix of calibrator is also same as plasma calibrators are supplied through manufacturer either in liquid or in lyophilized form they can be single or multi single calibrator is for calibration of single parameter whereas multi calibrator is for multiple parameters series of calibrators of different concentration can be used to establish calibration code why to use calibrator or role of calibrator initially they are used to set up analyzer machine or system to take reading so calibration is needed in the beginning of test run uh, when we use new batch of reagent we need to calibrate in case of major instrument part or system change recalibration is needed also when quality control fails calibration is required standard function is similar as calibrator but difference is that in case of standard matrix may not be same as sample here is tabulated information about calibrator and standard both have known solution concentration is fixed in calibrator matrix is same as sample but in standard matrix is different from sample in market we can have calibrator for both single and multiple parameter standard is available for only single parameter calibrator is expensive because it should be made in same matrix example whereas standard is cost effective because it can be made made in water also control control is a material having similar composition as sample used to monitor the status of analysis their sole purpose is to know whether a given method is providing the same result day after day or not so they check assay consistency over time control can be for single and multiple analytes they are supplied through reagent or instrument manufacturer or through third party what is third party control third party control is control from an independent body rather than reagent and instrument provider 
it is designed to provide an unbiased and independent assessment of performance. Why to use control? To test if analyzer after calibration is giving satisfactory result or not. Control result satisfactory means analyzer calibration and reagent are in perfect line. Overall control test result permits green signal for further testing. Control have values in range, not fixed as standard and calibrator. Control can be categorized as normal and pathological, also as level 1, level 2 and level 3. That means we can have clinically high value uh, control, normal value control and low value control for a particular analyte. And over a period of time, the result of control can be interpreted by LG chart to know whether they are going good or not. Okay, now here is the sequence. How we should conduct, calibrate, control and test in clinical lab. Arrange resin, buffer, water and other required consumables in a position. First, calibrate the method. After calibration success, run the control. Uh, if control result is within range, go for the test okay finally in this section i will try to make you understand calibrator and control by comparing laboratory test with other activity here two tasks task one is height measurement of people and task two is blood glucose measurement now let's compare these two tasks to have an idea about calibration and control. So for this two task, first we need a uh, machine, this machine or platform or site where we can work it. In case of height measurement, we can consider this wall as a machine or platform. And for the same function, analyzer is there to measure the glucose. So, here wall is a machine for height measurement and here analyzer is a machine for glucose measurement. Okay. Now we need to standardize or calibrate our machine. So calibrator are there. So to calibrate wall, we have a standard scale as a calibrator. So by the help of this scale, we can make an exact mark on wall to measure height. Similarly, Fixed concentration of glucose is there to calibrate the glucose measurement process in this analyzer. Okay, so when we provide fixed concentration of glucose to the analyzer, the analyzer set value in its system. Now analyzer has set reference point for glucose measurement. In this way, we calibrate the height measurement process at wall by the help of scale and we can calibrate the glucose measurement process in the analyzer by the help of glucose standard or calibrator and we can also plot the calibration curve by using different concentration of glucose okay after this control in case of height measurement process people whose height is already known can be taken as control and when we measure their height at the wall there should be good agreement in result so that we can say that wall is well cal calibrated with scale and in case of glucose measurement we can run the control which is available in the market here we have level one glucose control having value 90 to 122 mg per dl and if we run this control in analyzer the method should give report within range so that we can assure that test method is well calibrated after control finally go for the test now in case of height measurement we can measure the height of unknown people because the process is well calibrated and control also pass. Similarly, in case of 
uh, glucose measurement, we can test blood glucose of unknown sample. Okay, by this comparison, I hope you get this laboratory process of calibrator and control well. Thank you very much.